little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Mummy Pig's book. Mummy Pig is working on the computer. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer? Not at the moment, Peppa. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy, when can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. Now we can play Happy Mrs Chicken. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no, I didn't press save. Forty, ninety, ten, million, hundred and twelve. <laughs> well done, George. That's the highest score ever. <laughs> Duh, my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick, save, close, send. You. Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Peppa. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook. Not just one book. Lots and lots of books. Going to bookshops everywhere. Wow. wow. Mummy, can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. <laughs> Mummy Pig has arrived at the playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book, so we must listen politely even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh! <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four, seven, six, eight, five, nine, three, oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is four, seven, six, eight, five, it's nine? George's Happy Mrs. Chicken High Score. Wow, that is a high score. But where's my Funny Onion story? It's gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh, but he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle, it's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said, I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. Funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Marvellous. I think it speaks to all of us. The parents have come to collect the children. I've just been to the bookshop, Mummy Pig. It's full of your books. What did you mean by 453967? Well, er, uh, actually... It's probably post-narrative. Very modern. Uh, well done, Mummy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> the parents love Mummy Pig's book. The children love Mummy Pig's book. Everyone loves Mummy Pig's book.
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. <laughs> Easter Bunny. Peppa and her friends have come to Rebecca Rabbit's house for an Easter egg hunt. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, everyone. Are you looking forward to the egg hunt? Yes! Ready, steady, go! Wait! Stop! Stop! What? You can't start. The Easter Bunny hasn't been to hide the eggs yet. Oh! When is the Easter Bunny getting here? Very soon. Good! We'll wait. Uh, but the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if you're looking. OK, we'll close our eyes. <laughs> no peeking! I can hear something. It's the Easter Bunny. No, it's not. It's just my daddy. Here is Mr Rabbit. Hello, everyone. What are you all doing here? We've come for the Easter egg hunt. Oh. I hope the Easter Bunny will come soon, Mr Rabbit. Oh, yes, me too. I uh, must just go and check my carrot patch. This is Mr Rabbit's carrot patch. Remember, children, the Easter Bunny is very shy and won't come if we're looking. Let's wait indoors. <laughs> Rebecca Rabbit's house is underground. <laughs> Rebecca, have you ever seen the Easter Bunny? No, but the Easter Bunny is a rabbit. Yes. And you are a rabbit. Yes. What does it look like? I think it looks like me, but a bit bigger. Ruff, ruff. I think the Easter Bunny has a rocket pack. <laughs> yes, it's a Super Bunny. I think the Easter Bunny has a magic fairy wand. I think the Easter Bunny must be very big to carry all those eggs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Easter Bunny is invisible. What? Invisible means you can't see it. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> oh, somebody's hiding an egg. It must be the Easter Bunny. I wish we could see the real Easter Bunny. Maybe we can see it through the window. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't see anything. We're never going to see the Easter Bunny. Ahem. <gasps> Remember, no peeking. Sorry, Mummy. Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mr Rabbit. How are your carrots? What carrots? The carrots you went out to check. Oh, uh, they're fine. Daddy, did you see the Easter Bunny? Uh, no, but I'm sure the Easter Bunny will have been by now. Do you think the children can start looking for the eggs yet? Oh, yes. I would say so. <laughs> right. Are you ready to find the eggs the Easter Bunny has hidden? Yes! Ready? When you have found all the eggs, we share them out equally. Steady! There should be one egg Go! for every child. Don't worry if it takes you a long time to find them. Danny Dog has found an egg under a plant pot. <laughs> Susie Sheep has found one in a bush. Pepper has found an egg in a tree. George has found one in a bucket. Finished! Wow, that was quick. And with one egg each. Great. Wait! What's that over there? It's the Easter Bunny! Shh! Let's creep up quietly! Yes! <laughs> now we'll see what the Easter Bunny looks like. <laughs> That is not the Easter Bunny. That is Rebecca Rabbit. Oh, we thought you were the Easter Bunny. No, I'm me. And I found an egg. <laughs> We've all found eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bunny and I like to play. I hop, skip and jump and I play all day. I've a fluffy tail and bouncy legs. I like eating carrots and chocolate eggs. <laughs> we are little bunnies and we like to play. We hop, skip and jump and we play all day. We have fluffy tails and bouncy legs. We like eating carrots and chocolate eggs. <laughs> This is 
is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Scooters. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa and George are playing on their scooters. Whee! <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> George is still learning how to scooter. He is a bit worried. <laughs> George, come on! <laughs> What's the matter, George? <laughs> Shall I teach you how to scooter? <laughs> OK, you hold on to the handlebars like this with both hands. Now stand on the scooter. Oh. No, George. Stand on the scooter with one foot. Good. <laughs> now push off with the other foot. Like this. Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> George, you're doing it. <laughs> George hasn't learned to scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George. That's enough scootering for now. It's time to go to playgroup. Oh, we've only just started scootering. <laughs> Can we ride our scooters to playgroup, Daddy? Good idea. We could do with the exercise. Hooray! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Wait for me. See you later, Mummy Pig. See you later. <laughs> Pepper and George are riding their scooters to playgroup. <laughs> Not so fast! <laughs> Come on, Daddy! Daddy can't keep up! <laughs> Wait for me! Pepper and George have arrived at Playgroup. Bye-bye, <laughs> Daddy! Bye-bye! Bye! Oh, now I'm going to have to walk back home. What I need are some wheels. Hang on, I've got wheels. Whee! Ha <laughs> ha, this is fun. <laughs> Daddy Pig likes scootering. <laughs> brum, brum. Whee! <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're riding Peppa's scooter. Yes, scootering is such fun. You should try it sometime. <laughs> Pepper and George are painting pictures at Playgroup. Madam Gazelle, we came to school on our scooters today. <laughs> Very good, Pepper and George. Let's all paint pictures of how we came to school today. <laughs> I came on my bicycle. <laughs> Very good. I walked here. So nice to get the fresh air in your lungs. My granddad brought me in his truck. Broom, broom, broom. Uh -huh. Lovely. It is time for Mummy and Daddy Pig to pick up the children from playgroup. Have you got the car keys, Daddy Pig? I don't think we should take the car, Mummy Pig. But it's a long way to walk to playgroup. We don't have to walk. I made that mistake this morning. We can scooter. <laughs> Race you! Whee! What? Are you sure? Uh, OK. Whee! Whee! Mummy and Daddy Pig are scootering to playgroup to pick up Pepper and George. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I told you we wouldn't have to walk. Mummy! Daddy! You brought our scooters! <laughs> Hooray! Whee! Whee! Ah, uh, yes. That seems to leave us without scooters for the journey home. Daddy Pig, you said we wouldn't have to walk. We won't have to walk, but we will have to run. Race you! Hey, wait for me! Whee! <laughs> this is fun! Peppa! George! Oh, wait for Mummy and Daddy! <laughs> Peppa and George love scootering. Everybody loves scootering. <laughs> My 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Surfing. Peppa is on holiday at Kylie Kangaroo's house. What are we going to do today, Kylie? We're going to the beach. Yippee! I love the beach! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes! Then let's go! <laughs> this is the beach. Wow! Look at the sea! And the waves! <laughs> yeah! You'll need life vests for the water. <laughs> Dad, are we good to go surfing now? You're all good. What is that? It's a surfboard. What do you do with it? You lie on it and the waves push you along. Ooh. Come on, Peppa, I'll teach you. <laughs> it's easy to float because the board is super floaty. <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady, now, Peppa. Kylie <laughs> is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Whee! Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant! Whee! <laughs> surfing is the best thing ever. It's true. <laughs> surfing is the best thing ever. Ready? George wants to go surfing. <laughs> Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Aw, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! wave. wave. What's that? Wave! Wave! wave. 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 <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! <laughs> George is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> Natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> I loved surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. Mm, OK. Well, I suppose that might be great. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Little 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Gerald Giraffe. Mummy Pig is measuring Peppa. There, Peppa. That's how tall you are. I'm taller than I was before. That's because you're growing up, Peppa. Now George's turn. <laughs> There, George. That's how tall you are. <laughs> I am taller than George. Oh. Don't worry, George. As you get older, you'll get taller. Yes, but I will always be taller than you, George, because I will always be older. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for playgroup. <laughs> Children, today a new friend is joining our playgroup. Say hello to Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Hello. Wow, you're really tall, so you must be really old. No, Gerald is the same age as you. Why is he so tall then? I'm tall because I'm a giraffe. I'm taller. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You measure to the top of the ears. Oh, do ears count? Gerald Giraffe is the tallest. Oh, I wish I was as tall as Gerald. And me. And me. And me. And me. It is playtime. <laughs> Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two. While Pepper counts to ten, four, everyone must five, find a hiding six, place. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Found you, Gerald. <laughs> oh, you didn't find me. Or me. Or me. Or me. Or me. <laughs> I always get found because I'm so tall. Oh, it's not much fun being tall. I have to bend down to talk to everyone. I have to bend down to talk to George. Hello, George. What's it like being little? <laughs> Let's play ball! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Maybe I'll play later. Gerald Giraffe doesn't want to play because he is sad. To you, Danny. To you, Pedro. Catch, Peppa. Oh! The ball is stuck in the tree. I can't reach it. Let me have a go. No, it's too high. What can we do? Chop the tree down! No! I can get it with my trunk. Ugh, no, I can't. If Emily can't reach it with her trunk, then we'll never get our ball back. What can we do? Chop the tree down! No! If only there was somebody tall enough to reach our ball! Gerald! What? You can reach the ball because you're tall! I can try. <laughs> Gerald Giraffe has rescued the ball. <laughs> oh, I can see something else. There's an animal stuck in the tree. Is it a cat? No, I'm here. It is Tiddles the tortoise. Tiddles! Tiddles! Here is Dr Hamster, the vet. Oh, you naughty tortoise. Who do I have to thank for rescuing my Tiddles? Gerald! <laughs> thank you, Gerald. My goodness, you are a tall lad. I'm a giraffe. Oh. But you're taller than Gerald, Dr Hamster. Yes, that's because I'm a hamster. Are hamsters always taller than giraffes? Um, I will be taller than Dr Hamster when I'm older. Yes. Grown-up giraffes tend to be taller than grown-up hamsters. Hello. Hello. Mummy and Daddy Giraffe have come to collect Gerald from playgroup. Wow, you're as tall as the sky. That's because we're giraffes. And my mummy and daddy are very, very old. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my 
little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. London! Peppa and her playgroup are visiting London for the day. Children, this is London. Wow, it's so busy. There's so much to see, I just can't decide where to go first. My friend the Queen lives in London. Maybe she can help. This is the palace where the Queen lives. Hello? Please, can I speak to the Queen? I am the Queen. Who are you? It's Miss Rabbit. You said if I was ever in London, I should drop in to see you. Ah, oh, Miss Rabbit. Come in, come in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Queen. Queen. We're visiting London for the day. We were hoping you could tell us the best places to see. I can do better than that. After all, London is my city. I'll give you a guided tour myself. Hooray! <laughs> the best way to see London is on a double-decker bus. Ooh. Mr Driver, please may we borrow your bus. Borrow my bus? You must be joking. No, I am your Queen. In that case, Your Majesty, take it. If the Queen asks you to do something, you must do it. Everyone up to the top deck. <laughs> the bus has stairs in it. The double-decker bus has seats at the top. I'm the Queen and I will be your tour guide today. Bus stop, Big Ben. <laughs> this tall clock tower is called Big Ben. Actually, Big Ben is the bell, not the tower. You know a lot for a little elephant. I'm a clever clogs. Oh. That was loud. That is the sound of Big Ben telling us the time. It rang three times, so it is three o'clock. If it rang six times, would that make it six o'clock? Yes, it would. And if it rang a hundred times? Then it would be broken. <coughs> On with the tour. Next stop, Tower Bridge. We need to cross the bridge to continue the tour. Stop! You can't cross! Look, there's a big ship. <coughs> to bang into the bridge. <gasps> the bridge is lifting up. Wow! Tower Bridge lifts to let tall ships sail through. Good. Now the ship has passed, we can be on our way. Please lower the bridge. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but there's another ship coming. This is really too much. We can't wait around all day. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> The bus is balancing on the bridge. Now what do we do? Hang on a minute, lads. I've got a great idea. Everybody move to the front of the bus. OK. <laughs> Hooray! The Queen is good at driving buses. Are you enjoying your tour, children? Yes! yes. Open-top buses are the best. <coughs> Why aren't all buses open like this one? It is raining. Ah, yes. That's why all buses aren't open like this one. Children, open your umbrellas. It is very important to take an umbrella when you visit London. Next stop, Trafalgar Square. Oh dear, what a shame. Trafalgar Square is full of puddles. But we love puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, have a Splash, Your Majesty. It does look rather fun. And one is wearing one's boots. Whee! <laughs> the Queen loves jumping in London puddles. Everybody loves jumping in London puddles. 